Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and what's that thing behind me here? Well, that is our wedding chapel and you may have spotted this in the background of various videos over the fall and winter in various stages of construction. We built it out of our duck pen repurposed after we had no more use for it and carried it over here and you may have some obvious questions first one is how did a duck pen turn into that thing and by the way i think it turned out pretty good uh, and then you may be asking more a question of why did we do this to ourselves why did we spare the extra time and expense and effort of putting up a wedding chapel on the property here. So uh, first thing first about it turning from a duck pen, well, I'm gonna insert some footage here. I didn't collect tons of footage as we were building this. We just, uh, were, it was cold out, we were trying to get it done. So I didn't really set up the camera a lot. Plus, I don't think this is really a how-to video. I can't imagine that a lot of other people are looking to build a wedding chapel in their backyard. Um, I mentioned in the short video that I did that I think this is the world's smallest wedding chapel. Now, I'm not sure how official any of those uh, designations could be and definitely we're not inviting Guinness Book of Records around here it could certainly be beaten like you could go smaller but it's small enough now that you can really basically fit an efficient and maybe the the wedding couple there and maybe a witness if you if they stood in the doorway so it's not very large and uh, so I don't think you could get that much smaller so the question of why and this is you know because we could uh, because it turned out really cool, because it looks good on the farm, um, because Lisa and I would have loved something like this when we were getting married many years ago. It's kind of simple, so, like tiny houses, tiny wedding chapel. And uh, I think that our goal is to invite people here to have a small wedding or even just uh, engagement pictures or, or reception pictures. There is a neighbor nearby who hosts wedding celebrations or wedding ceremonies and I'm sure they'll be coming down here because when the roses are in bloom and the place is looking great this is going to make a great backdrop for some photos. You may also ask isn't this kind of an overtly religious symbol uh, on your property is that's kind of making it that way and by the way I'm going to keep on throwing in footage of the chapel as I go through this quick video here. Um, no, it really isn't a religious thing. It's not, uh, we haven't put any religious symbols in it at all. It's really just more a thing of, hey, if somebody wants to have a wedding or a renewal or just an engagement or any other kind of thing they'd like to do here privately, it really has nothing to do with religion unless they make it do so. I've kind of felt like in our public life here on the farm and certainly on YouTube, keeping religion and politics out of it would probably be a good thing. Um, so it, don't, don't infer anything from the wedding chapel itself. All right, that was the quick video on that. I hope you got all the footage you wanted to see on it. And if you have any questions about it or anything else on the farm here, please go ahead and drop those into the comments below the video. I'll see what I can do to answer it.